so we made it through our two weeks in Bangkok. Yes. Abroad as a international family now. And it was good. Yeah, yeah, we had a really good time in Bangkok. It's a lively city. It's a big, busy, congested city. Yeah, it's like make of New York City, but Asian. <laughs> <laughs> So we went to the Grand Palace and got to walk around all the beautiful temples. Um, every one of these temples, the outside was like decorated with like mosaic tiles. And like really reflective and lots of gold. So and much gold. It looks super royal, which makes sense because on these grounds is the king's like actual palace. Mm -hmm. And the residents that like any foreign uh, like diplomats or presidents and stuff would stay in as well. So uh, within the Grand Palace itself is a temple that holds the Emerald Buddha. Um, we weren't allowed to take any photos or videos inside of it because it's a very sacred place uh, to Buddhists. But we left out of the, the Emerald Buddha uh, temple and Jai tugged on my, on my shorts and he, he said, I want to go back in to hear the Buddha speak. Did you hear the Buddha speak? And I said, you know, I, I told him that I was listening and, and had, you know, an open heart. And he said he wanted to go back in, and it was really kind of special when he came back out. What did he say? It's a secret. Wait, okay. But you had to go in there again because you heard them talking? Yeah, I heard them talking. Yeah, I heard them talking. Yeah, I heard them talking. That's really special, Dad. What did he say to you? For me, too. Love everyone. To love. <laughs> it's pretty intense. All like the mosaics. Mm -hmm. it's probably the prettiest things I've like ever seen. So when we first got to Bangkok, we stayed at the Love D Hostel, and it was really awesome. And everybody there was so nice. Um, they're the ones that took us to the Grand Palace the first day. Ended up being Jai's best friends, and, and loved playing with Jai. Um, but one of the guys that we met there, his name was Bus, uh, he came back on his day off and took us to the Rod Fai uh, Night Market. Yes. And at the Rod Fai Night Market, we walked around and ate some food. We actually got to eat bamboo worms. Bamboo. They were pretty good. Uh, pretty good. They are amazing. They are so awesome. I, I'm trying to get people to join the bamboo worm. Uh, we bought a bag of them, but we didn't have that bag for very long because this one yeah, right here. he had one. I, I ate had one. the rest of the bag. But anyway, we got to walk around, check out a bunch of cool stuff, um, see all kinds of cool foods. Then it started to, to storm. But we went into the Esplanade Mall, and Bus showed us this really cool place where they have like snowy dessert. Yeah, dude. Monkey cheeks. <laughs> Most of our time in Bangkok was at uh, this place called Jackie's Homestay, and it was Jackie who ran it. Hey, Jackie! She teaches Thai. She teaches Thai cooking classes on the weekends. She's a chef, like an actual chef. Yes. She went to Thai cooking school here. But every morning we had to wake up and do a little bit of chores. We had to sweep, mop. Um, wash dishes, change bed linen, do some laundry, usual like housekeeping kind of things, but that was how we got to stay for free. Yeah, and we stayed for free for 10 days, and our chores each day usually took us about an hour. I'm gonna get you. Don't get me. Ah, oh, Jack. Yeah. Jack, you ready? Yes. Jackie, you ready? Yes. Jin you ready? Okay. Next. Wow. <laughs> This is the best try. This is a
The only difference was Saturdays, she hosted the cooking classes where people and tourists would come and she would show them how to cook uh, traditional Thai dishes. Mm -hmm. And so and I would get to eat. Oh yeah, definitely eat and hang out and have a good time. Yeah. Um, so I would go with her to the market. We Ryan would help her prep food and get the house ready. We would, you know, just kind of be there all day. Um, I ended up being like the greeter and would collect money and things like that as people showed up and writing names down in books. And I was the person in the kitchen washing all the dishes at the end of the meal. Thank you. So we were able to go to a children's discovery museum that was just maybe like a 25 minute walk away. And we have to keep remembering that on this trip, this family trip, that Jai is a big part of it. Yes. And we have to keep him, you know, entertained. So uh, we went to the museum and we were expecting to pay something to go in, but it was totally free. First we walk in and there's this huge like playground area that Jai just went nuts for. Um, and he was running around, climbing on everything until he looked over from the top of the playground and saw that there were buried dinosaur bones yes. and he lost it and yeah. they had to go inside. We spent a lot of time in the dinosaur section and Jai actually got to feed some dinosaurs which was pretty cool. Yeah, they had the animatronic heads and you know, you put the food on the plate and they're like, <laughs> it does what? <laughs> yeah, okay. And then we did some art, lots of uh, clay making. Of oh yeah, we made lots of cool clay things. Jai is getting really good at making dinosaurs and different animals out of clay and Play-Doh. Like, he's yeah. pretty impressive. His Stegosaurus was legit. Yeah, I I'm always amazed by him, but I do think his whole art game has gotten better. So we hopped on a train at the Bangkok train station, which is in the heart of the city, and it cost us about 38 baht on a one-way ticket for the three of us to get up to Ayutthaya, which is the so former capital of Thailand. Yeah. Really beautiful going through the countryside. Jai enjoyed sticking his head out the window. Like and a dog. Yes, he was definitely uh, acting like a dog. And, and getting to Ayutthaya, we um, walked for a little bit because we're hard-headed. Well, I'm hard-headed. But then we decided to hire a tuk-tuk that was going to take us around for two hours and show us a couple of different temples, including one where Mortal Kombat was uh, filmed, or part of Mortal Kombat was filmed. Yeah. and temples that are in Bangkok. Um, at this one, one of the Buddha heads had fallen off and over years, like this tree roots had like grown around it. Um, so just the fact that like it had been left alone for so long, untouched, like that's crazy and amazing. It was really cool. 400 years old. And how old are you? Four years old, that's, that's crazy. So after we spent a couple hours at Ayutthaya, we hopped back on the train to get back to Bangkok and it started to rain just in time as we got on the train, which Jai loved, sticking his hand out again mm -hmm. and catching raindrops. Um, so that was really cool to watch him just, you know, explore as a kid. Uh, when we got to Jackie's, uh, one of our first, like, outside her area adventures was to go back to the river and go check out the different temples um and we decided our first one would be Wat Aron uh which is a temple that looks totally different than the other ones that are there this one didn't have all the all the gold yeah and all the, it's it was a lot more white than anything yeah white and built with a mosaic with like it seemed like it wasn't broken like uh, plates but had like the same designs that plates would have on it um, and they made like a floral pattern like all around it. It was really nice. It was very cool, but definitely stood out as a different aesthetic to the other temples that we saw in Bangkok. Mm -hmm.
Look, it's in a coconut jar. Yeah. Here, bring it closer to you. Right here. Okay. Oh man, that looks so yummy. How is it? Right across the river from Wataran was Wat Po, which is where you can see the reclining Buddha. And it's cool because the Buddha's reclining, but you don't understand how massive this thing is. It's so, it's so big. It's like 50 yards. It's like an entire hall that they built for this reclining Buddha. And the whole thing is gold. And it's just like, he's legit chilling. He's the coolest looking Buddha I've ever seen. <laughs> Super huge. So after we got to see the front side of the reclining Buddha, you kind of loop around and you get to go the opposite way down the back side of the Buddha. And as soon as we got down uh, into that section, uh, it started pouring rain. We are in the temple of the reclining Buddha. Uh, we walked around it already, but it's pouring raining. It's pouring rain outside. <laughs> Uh, but it's not a bad place to be until the rain stops. Jackie's neighborhood, uh, right next to Chuck to Chuck Park, and then there's a Discovery Kids Museum. There's a market called Chuck to Chuck Market, Weekend Market. It is massive. I heard that's the biggest market in Asia. It's a pretty huge market. If you need any type of clothing. Look, I got these balling shorts. Oh yeah, me too. Look at these. These are balling. Uh, <laughs> we just really wanted some, some shorts. That, Elephant shorts. Yeah. Jackie took me and two other girls that I met at her cooking class to the club. It was really cool having like a ladies night, some adult time for myself, um, and Jai and Elijah, they had their own dudes night. So that was a lot of fun. Lots of dancing and drinks. <laughs> so that was our two weeks in Bangkok, Thailand. Bangkok, Thailand. But uh, we'll be kind of visiting it a couple more times uh, when we're catching flights and things like that. Uh, so, you know, we'll try to hit up some other spots while we're there for a day. So from Bangkok, Thailand, we caught a flight and we landed here in beautiful Chiang Mai, Thailand. Yeah, this is one of our views from our room that we get to see when we wake up in the morning. And in the morning, it really looks so nice because the sun is coming from this side. So you get the nice, like, crossover, dewy grass. But we love Bangkok and we'll definitely be back not only because we want to, but because of connecting flights. <laughs> uh, but we'll catch you guys in a couple weeks for the recap of Chiang Mai. And uh, check out the videos that we have until then. Yes. See ya.